One, I am Dr. Grant Colfax, the Director of Health. Thank you for coming today and late in the afternoon to learn more about the city's aggressive recommendations to reduce the spread of coronavirus and to protect the public health. We are proposing major changes for systems and individuals. I am greatly appreciative of the mayor's leadership, the partnership with the Department of Emergency Management, with Mary Ellen Carroll, the director here today, and the support of many city agencies whose work, clients, and staff will be impacted by today's recommendations. After we learned yesterday of two coronavirus cases among San Francisco residents, we had proof that the virus is spreading in our community. We are taking swift action today. We are making strong rec recommendations for social distancing that are intended to reduce the spread of the virus and protect individual and community health. Here's the point. In order to decrease the impact of coronavirus on our community, we must reduce the times and places where people come together. And we need to protect the people who are most vulnerable to getting sick or even dying if they get coronavirus. In public health, we fight infectious diseases all the time. We know how viruses spread. Human viruses need people to carry them. They thrive in normal, so, normal social, they thrive in normal social circumstances. If we wait to take stronger action until we have multiple confirmed cases and deaths, the window of opportunity we have now will have closed. Looking at other places where there have been more cases and deaths, there are actions that we need to take before that happens. These actions are disruptive. It is meant to disrupt the spread of the virus. It is inconvenient, and we acknowledge that there will be unintentional hardships and sacrifices for our residents and businesses. But it is the best thing for public health and to pr protect all of us from a worsening outbreak that is quickly spreading across the country and our region. We are in good company. San Mateo and Santa Clara counties have already announced similar measures, along with King County in Washington, which includes Seattle. If the plan works in San Francisco, it may even seem like an overreaction because the virus spread will be reduced and fewer people will get sick. I know this is a lot to absorb. So let me review the key elements of the recommendations that the mayor announced earlier. We expect these measures to be in place for an initial period of two weeks, and we will continuously assess their impact to, to determine if they need to be adjusted. So now I will go through the recommendations. Number one, vulnerable populations. Limit, limit outings. Vulnerable populations include people who are 60 years and older, and people with certain health conditions, such as heart disease, lung disease, diabetes, kidney disease, and weakened immune systems. For vulnerable populations, for these vulnerable populations, don't go to gatherings of about 50 people or more unless it is essential. If you can telecommute, you should, and avoid being around people who are sick. Recommendation number two, workplace and businesses, minimize exposure. Suspend non-essential employee travel. Minimize the number of employees working with an arm's length of one another, including minimizing or canceling large in-person meetings and conferences. Urge employees to stay at home when they are sick and maximize flexibility and sick leave benefits. Do not require a doctor's note for employees who are sick. Consider use of telecommuting options. Some people need to be at work to provide essential services of great benefit to the community. They can take steps in their workplace to minimize risk.
Number three, large gatherings cancel non-essential events. Recommend canceling or postponing large gatherings such as concerts, sporting events, conventions, or large community events. Do not, do not attend any events or gatherings if sick. For events that aren't canceled, we recommend having hand washing capabilities, hand, sanitizers, hand sanitizers and tissues, frequently cleaning high touch surface areas like countertops and handrails, finding ways to create physical space to minimize close contact as much as possible. Number four, schools, safety first. If there is a confirmed case of coronavirus at a school, DPH will work with the school and the district to determine the best measures, including potential school closure. Do not go to school if sick. If you have a child with chronic health conditions, consult with your health care provider about school attendance. Equip all schools and classrooms with hand sanitizers and tissues. Recommend rescheduling or canceling medium to large events that are not essential. Explore remote teaching and online options to continue learning. Schools should develop a plan for countywide school closures and families should prepare for, for potential closures. Number five, transit. Cleaning and protection. Increase cleaning of vehicles and high touch surface areas. Provide hand washing and hand sanitizers and tissues in stations and on vehicles. Number six, healthcare settings. Avoid as possible to protect the most vulnerable. Long term care facilities must have a coronavirus plan in accordance with the department guidelines. Long term care facilities must screen all staff and visitors for illness and turn away those with symptoms. The general public, the general public should avoid going to medical settings such as hospitals, nursing homes, and long-term care facilities. If you are ill, call your health care provider ahead of time, and you may be able to be served by phone. Do not visit the emergency room unless it is essential. Number seven, everyone, everyone do your part. The best way for all San Franciscans to reduce their risk of getting sick, as always with seasonal colds or flu, still applies to coronavirus. Wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Cover your cough or sneeze. Stay at home if you are sick. Avoid touching your face. Try alternatives to shaking hands, like an elbow bump or wave. If you have re recently returned from a country, state, or region with ongoing coronavirus infections, monitor your health and follow the instructions of public health officials. There is no recommendation to wear a mask at this time to prevent yourself from getting sick. I urge everyone to keep informed and up to date. Today, we announced a new service to make that easier for San Franciscans. You can sign up for official updates by texting COVID-19-SF, that's COVID-19-SF, to 888-777. That's 888-777. You can also visit the Health Department's website at sfdph.org. Thank you. And I think we have time for a few questions. Has there been any update uh, about the, the cruise ship? We're seeing reports about passengers and crew who have been diagnosed. Is there any update on where they are headed? So Director of Emergency Management, Mary Ellen Carroll, is available for, to answer those questions around the cruise ship situation. Yes, thank you. So um, the status for us really hasn't changed since yesterday. Uh, the state is working with the CDC and the feds to uh, continue to test patients and to determine the most appropriate uh, birth for the ship. Um, though as up to now, we, we do not know what the final uh, determination is. 
we assume San Francisco could potentially still be that location, but we, we also are awaiting information. We know about what you do. No, they are not. Has the CDC given you names of the folks that were on the Mexican Riviera cruise, and are you in touch with them, and how many are there? The first voyage. We have that information, and they have been um, contacted by the health department. How many people? Um, there are over 100. I can't give you a more specific number than that. I cannot give you a number more specific than that. Do you know 100 people from San Francisco were on that cruise? Yes. Are these San Francisco residents 100? Can you tell us if there, if any of them are showing symptoms or being tested? Um, th they have been told to um, contact their healthcare provider if they have symptoms, and and they will follow the proper procedures per CDC guidelines for testing if that's warranted at this time. Are any of them in the hospital currently? I can't. I, I'm not aware of any any at this time. And what about the situation at Lowell? Has the student of the parent that has is being <coughs> has that student been tested? I'm not, I cannot speculate on individual testing results at this time. What about the conditions of the two diagnosed patients, particularly the man in his 90s in serious condition yesterday? Is there any update? There is no update at this time on the condition of the patients, but we certainly wish them and their families well. And, and no one else has tested positive since the announcement yesterday? As of uh, th this afternoon, we have no additional positive tests of COVID-19. What is your message to, like, the Warriors or other music venues in San Francisco? Are they supposed to cancel their concerts or athletic contests? Consistent with the recommendations of DPH, I hope that they will certainly follow our recommendations because it's the best for public health this so time based on the available data. Our recommendation is to cancel large events. So music concerts should be canceled? Our recommendation is to cancel large events and social gatherings. Is the city canceling any events? The city will, will, uh, will uh, follow the guidelines certainly follow the guidelines for all city events. Is it like St. Patrick's Day Parade? I'm sorry? St. Patrick's Day Parade, which is St. Patrick's Day St. Patrick's Day Parade would fall under the parameters of these recommendations. Is there any update on the um, the forty year old woman? There were questions of whether or not she's been to to the campus when she Again, I can't, I'm not going to speculate on individual cases for privacy reasons and so forth. I don't have any other information to share at that time. Any at this other time. questions on the recommendations that were announced today, the social distancing recommendations? We would have time for two more questions about that. Are city workers uh, told not to come to City Hall or to the uh, city so, so these recommendations will apply to city workers, um, and the city will uh, in adhere to these recommendations. Um, and we'll follow the recommendations as, as currently uh, announced today. What about public press? So you mentioned that that's something that's going to have to be one of those new developments. Are you guys going to have someone that's going to go around cleaning buses or trains? How's that going to look like? Um, well, we are recommending increased cleaning, and uh, we are in touch with our, our muni uh, leadership to ensure that this recommendation can be carried out. You mentioned the hardship that this might create, at least temporarily, mm -hmm. for San Francisco businesses. Can you kind of delve into that a little more, and particularly in terms of some may not actually survive? Yeah, I understand that this is a disruptive situation. Um, I we are uh, as as a as, there there are lots of. Uh, uh, people are looking into the, the economic in, impact of this, um, very concerned about it, certainly looking uh, for potential sources of, of, of support with regard to the impact. But our focus today is really on the public health. We really need to disrupt um, social engagement as much as uh, we can right now to avoid a transmission of coronavirus. These recommendations are based on the best global health uh, uh, rec uh, best global health uh, information that we have at this time. Um, they are informed by CDC guidelines, and they're also uh, consistent with neighboring counties' uh, recommendations. Social distancing means don't go out to dinner, stay home to eat for everybody, not just the vulnerable. I would ask that, so I would ask that, the, I mean, these were very detailed recommendations. We are making them available to, to everyone, um, and our recommendation is to follow these specific guidelines at this time. Do you have any okay. powers to actually compel private businesses to not have concerts? Is there any powers that you have? These are, have these are our recommendations. Yeah. You can't force them. These are our recommendations. Can I ask one Thank more you. Thank about you. the shift, if, if possible? Um, I don't think we have any more information about the shift than she's well, already provided. Um, the Vice President said something about this that it would likely go to a non commercial port. So a lot of people are wondering what that means and what would the possibilities be? 
We only know what we also have heard from the Vice President in the media. Thank you Thank all you. so much Thank for coming. You.